Welcome to Tattooed Nerd. How's it going? It's my, what day is it? I, you know, it doesn't even matter. I don't even know what day you're watching this video, but I'm Patrick Kelly. I'm a distinguished architect at Zoom. I am not a figurehead for Zoom. I am not a spokesman for Zoom. I just like to talk about cool technology. And a lot of times that helps to deal with Zoom, much like today. And uh, this is the second time, Jason, I think I've had a guest host from Zoom on the show. So why don't you introduce yourself and tell us why are you even here? <laughs> Yeah, thanks, Patrick. So uh, Jason Engstrom, I am a Zoom phone product specialist, not quite as cool of a title as you, but uh, I do everything or work with everything, you know, Zoom phone related uh, when it comes to uh, Zoom's communication platform. So here to talk about a couple of things and, and uh, HubSpot and that integration that we have there, which is a super helpful integration, see it a ton in the SMB space. So um, here to kind of show what that looks like. So I've done a demo on Dynamics 365, and uh, I've done a demo on Salesforce integration. And those are probably the primary players in the, the CRM space for enterprises. But HubSpot being one of the primary players in the CRM for SMB and, and mid-market even. So this is amazing. And honestly, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I didn't even know we did an integration with HubSpot. So you're, you you taught me something already. But I would love for you, if you could, to maybe just show us what it looks like and, and what's like the day in the life of a salesperson using Zoom phone and, and HubSpot integration. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll take a look at that here. And yeah, so basically... If I'm one of those salespeople and I'm, I'm using HubSpot and I'm also a Zoom phone user, I could jump into HubSpot here and pull up any one of my contacts. And you know, let's say I'm going to go and make that outbound call. It works great. So I just click this phone number or phone icon here. I'm going to dial out. It's going to cross launch right into Zoom and make that call. Uh, while that call is happening, I'm going to be able to uh, be over here and you know have any have any notes uh, that I can take. So I can make you know notes here. Uh, so I'm gonna say that I spoke to Marty about uh, you know coming back to come back to 1985. <laughs> type correctly. Uh, so I spoke to Marty about coming back to 1985, and I connected with him. So I'm gonna save that uh, outcome here. So it's gonna drop that right in there. And then when I'm ready to end that call, I'm gonna end it over in Zoom. Minimize this here. Once I jump over and look at my calls, I'm going to be able to see exactly what just happened. So cross launch over into Zoom, made that call. It was logged here. It was 32 seconds. Here's what I talked to Marty about. And there you go. That's how that's how Zoom phone works with uh, HubSpot. So and and is there a separate application is because because HubSpot's inside of a browser. So do we get this? Uh, where do we get this application or our marketplace from the marketplace? Absolutely. Yeah. So there, there's an application that uh, that you install within HubSpot that'll connect Zoom right in there. Uh, that gives you that ability to dial right out of uh, HubSpot. Okay. So I'm a salesperson, right? My whole, my primary job is to make a ton of phone calls every single day. And, and this allows me really without ever having to leave my screen because of this application affinity, right? This context switching, we don't want to be switching between different applications. So we can make an outbound call right from HubSpot within the browser itself. It launches Zoom phone like you just demoed. And the, the important part of this, it looks like, is that you can literally do be doing the, the records real time while you're having the phone call. Is that correct? Absolutely. All right. So now I have, and this is a, a, a Marty McFly is a contact. And then you, you build your contacts inside of HubSpot, allowing this integration to take place. The activity uh, is, is really uh, an important part of this. So it's all tabbed across there. This looks pretty clean, honestly. Very clean. Yeah. The nice part is uh, what it does is uh, when I, when I log that call, I could be on the contact record for Marty. I could be at you know the company level, so Bifco Enterprises here. I could even be on the deal 
uh, you know, that I have here. So I'm going to close a thousand dollar deal with Marty with, you know, getting him some new pl plutonium to come back to 1985 and where, whatever record I'm on, uh, and I log, I make that call. It's going to log to any one of those associated, uh, records there. So it, it's connected, you know, any, any place I'm at within HubSpot. And this is great. And so now if I were to go to calls, can I, can I tell like what direction the call was? Can I see if it's, if Marty called you or you called Marty, How, can I see that from the calls perspective? Yep. Right when I want, right when I'm on uh, calls here, it'll show, I made an outbound call uh, to Marty and, you know, call them again here. Uh, so anytime I, I make that outbound call, it'll, it'll, Put that uh, right here next to my comments. If he called me, it's going to automatically, you know, pop inbound as well. Uh, and then if I was to record, you know, that conversation with Marty as well, there'd be a, a URL link uh, that drops right into the recording. So I could I could just click that link and open that up into another tab right within uh, the browser here. So this is interesting. So you're saying that if I were to record this call uh, just for maybe a compliance reason or a sales learning reason from, from Zoom phone, I end that phone call, it literally gets updated right into HubSpot so I can listen to that recording later on. Yep, absolutely. That's fantastic. So I, I can see too, this, this call that you just made, this outbound call, there's an outcome. I can, it said, Louis says I connected on that phone call. I, I see a duration and I see a type. What are, what are those things? Uh, so, yeah, so the duration um, or the, yeah, the duration would be just the direction, total time sorry. Of, uh, I that my, I spoke to Marty. <laughs> my, my, my glasses then, aren't working, Jason. I said, I said duration. I should have said direction. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then, uh, yeah, the direction of that call, uh, I can even decide. So this was an outbound call and then the call type. So, uh, what, uh, basically which, which, uh, type of call I was, I was calling in. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying to sell Marty to come back to 1985. So this was a prospecting call. So I can put that, uh, call type right in there. And I assume on an inbound call, I also have those, those same level of choices. Is that correct? Yep. Let's do a let's do an inbound call real quick. So we'll dial back uh, we'll dial back in here, and it'll show uh, it'll show what happens here essentially. So I'm going to answer it through Zoom. Once I make that uh, answer, what'll happen? You know, we're we're holding that phone call and everything uh, that's done here. And so what happens with uh, this call? Uh, you know, we're we're gonna let's do a recording as well, so we can even see what that looks like. So the call is getting recorded right now. Um, we're you know running up on 20 seconds, talking about you know ha having our conversation come back to 1985. I'm going to end this call now. When I end that call, you'll see here uh, in a second it'll refresh and it'll automatically load that recording and bring it right into a HubSpot. If I go and look at you know the activity side of things, it's going to see you know we're going to see every detail that I've ever done with Marty. And under calls is where I'm going to see that recording link. So then when I pop this open into another window, I can come in here, I can come in and, and just hit this uh, play button and listen to that call uh, that I had with Marty. So that's an example of that recording. And that was an inbound call. Uh, and so now we see that, you know, this call was inbound. Uh, it was also recorded. Uh, we connected and it was an inbound call. It was 27 seconds. And it was another prospecting call because he's not convinced about coming back to 1985. <laughs> Well, this seems this seems amazing. This is literally just kind of like really like Dynamics 365 as well as Salesforce. Uh, so, I mean, kudos to to HubSpot uh, for making this integration pretty pretty straightforward, pretty seamless, honestly. And I, I shockingly real, almost real time from the recordings to the to the outbound to the inbound records keeping. What else? Am I, what am I missing, Jason? Am I missing anything that I didn't even ask about? One other thing that you could do, probably the last thing would be uh, you can actually even set Zoom. So within the settings of Zoom, uh, you could come in and you, you if you wanted to, under phone, you could actually decide that you want to launch an external app. So what this will do, this will basically launch a launch a page. So if it's a new contact or, um, or Marty, you know, in this case, it's a saved one. You can put this uh, link in here so it'll launch a uh, browser tab and essentially prompt you to create a new contact if it's somebody that is uh, if it if it's somebody that's not stored already as a contact 
or if it is already stored as a contact, it'll just prompt that page or prompt that uh, page up here for you to be able to add that in. So essentially that's what this would look like. So if that inbound call comes in, I can click Marty's name, go right into his page, or if he's brand new, I can create him as a contact, or if it's a new lead altogether and we don't have it in you know, HubSpot, I can even create a new company uh, as well and associate that contact there. Wow. <laughs> That's, now, actually, that might have been the coolest thing I've seen today. I didn't even know it could do that. That's fantastic. Uh, Jason. I mean, you've enlightened me uh, on HubSpot. You've enlightened me on a lot of things I just didn't know. I always, I always love learning new stuff. I and mean, I, I do always love talking about, about Zoom and, and its capabilities too. And it's extensibility, really. I mean, this, the, the story I probably need to tell more to customers is, is the extensibility of Zoom. Is the, the ability to really put apps inside of Zoom or put Zoom inside of your apps. We go really on a, a, a super open ecosystem in regards to, to application development as, as well as extensibility in apps. So appreciate it. Thank you so much for being brave enough to come on my, <laughs> I don't know if you even call it a show. Do you call it a show? I think it's a show. <laughs> I'll let you get back to work. I promise. If your boss yells at you, tell him to direct him, direct him my way. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs>